do you believe that I can print out a card from this phone, pull the card off the screen and give it to you? I'm going to give you this card when it's done printing, okay? There you go. Nothing in this hand. Nothing in this hand. But I'm going to give you this card. You ready? That's for you. Can I show you another trick? Uh, yeah. Read out loud the three triangles. The uh, arrows in the screen, bird in the hand, once in a lifetime. You got them all wrong. See if you can find the mistakes. Read it nice and loud. Isn't that crazy? Can I show you another trick based on the idea that it's easy, it's easy to make a mistake like that? Are you a good person? Uh, you're, not, you're not sure? I'm not sure. How about you? Are you a good person? Okay, so let's take a test to see how you do, okay? Have you ever told a lie? Yes. What do you call people who tell lies? So what are you? Have you ever taken something that does not belong to you? Candy, an answer from somebody's test, download music that shouldn't be free. Yeah. So what do you call people who steal? So what are you? No, you're lying thieves. Have your parents ever punished you for anything? That means you haven't always honored your father and your mother. So by your admission, you're a liar, a thief, disobedient, and rebellious. Is that a good person? No. Not a good person. If you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? He said, you shall not lie. Look at that one alone. Are you guilty? Okay. And should God let guilty people into heaven? So you're absolutely right. Had you died yesterday, where would you have gone? You said it, I didn't, right? But what did God do? Because he loves you, so he could have the right to forgive you. What did he do for you? Um, he died on the Right, and he rose on the third day. Yes. Does that mean everybody goes to heaven? No. Who goes to heaven? Uh, those who repent. Repent? Who suffer honor. Who, who do what? Who suffer honor. Suffer, okay. So let me prove to you repenting and suffering don't work, okay? So let's say you had your best friend here. An awful person murders your best friend. He gets arrested. The judge sentences him to life. And he says to the judge, Your Honor, you don't have to punish me. You know why? I repent. Is that good enough? No. Doesn't do anything for past sins, right? What if he goes, I'll suffer a little bit. Um, I'll whip myself with a, with a chain for an hour. Is that going to do anything? He's got to be punished according to the law, right? The same way you and I were guilty of breaking God's law and somebody's going to pay. So it's either you or Jesus. So Jesus already paid the price. So in that court situation, imagine if somebody had paid the penalty for him and the judge is looking at the guy and says, hey, do you want to pay for your own penalty or do you want somebody else to pay for you, right? That's what, that's what Jesus did for you. You can apply Jesus' death and suffering towards all the bad things you've done. And do you know how to do that? Uh, no. Here's what Jesus said. He who believes in me has everlasting life. So how do you go to heaven? Uh, by believing. Who's the him? Uh, Jesus. That's right. Let me give you another verse. Acts 16, 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. So how do you go to heaven? I believe in Jesus. That's right. So... It seems like you didn't know how to go to heaven according to the Bible until I talked to you. Is that correct? Yes. 